Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm going to be building a MA-10X assembly, as well as talking about our new kit and the variations that we have available. The MA-10 is a 125th scale axle designed for lightweight 124th and 125th scale plastic models. It's available in different sizes and variations, and the overall size and proportions are designed to be as close as possible to a full-size axle. If scale realism is the main goal, the MA-10 is what you'll want. I've had a lot of fun building many cars using this axle design on projects that I've showcased previously. We've sold far more kits than I ever would have thought possible, and in part thanks to the customer feedback and requests, we've improved the kits and simplified our selection while still offering different sizes and variations to fit a wide variety of applications. We've also got more FDM 3D printable variations for all of you with printers to print yourself. Let's get started by having a look at the new kit. At this time, there is only one MA-10 axle kit, which is what you see here. It includes all of the non-printable parts, including hardware, bearings, and grease. Optionally, you can choose whether or not to have the kit include resin gears and a drive shaft socket. STL files for these parts are available, though they require a high-resolution 3D printer to make. Your typical hobby-grade FDM printer is likely not going to be capable of producing these parts, so keep this in mind when ordering. So this kit looks pretty similar to the previous ones we offered, with one big difference. There's no axle housing pieces. Rather than having many different kits for slightly different axle variations, the axle housing sets are now sold separately, all of which are compatible with this single hardware and non-printable parts kit. Not only can you choose which width and suspension type you'd like, but also you have the option of 3D printing these parts yourself. The files are available to all Maker Tier patrons on Patreon. If you decide you'd rather order these axle housing pieces, you have several options. You can choose between the FDM printed PLA plastic housings, which are inexpensive, durable, though do show some layering, or resin housings, which have a better appearance, though are not as durable and may not be the best for hobbyists with little or no prior experience working with resin model kits. The options don't end there, however. We recently opened a store on Shapeways, where you can order these housing pieces in a variety of different materials through Shapeways. They have many different types of materials to choose from, and we look forward to posting more items to our Shapeway store in the near future. I'm definitely looking forward to ordering some parts from them for future projects, as they can print in anything from soft rubber-like materials to metal. Stay tuned for future videos where I showcase some of these parts. One thing to note is that there are now two types of lower trailing arm mounts, a ball and socket type and a new bolt-on type which is far easier to print. Just make sure you choose the correct lower trailing arms and hardware for your axle housing type. Other than that, the axle housings remain unchanged, and we have much more info about the MA-10 on our website and in previous videos. Now is probably a good time to mention that we offer complete chassis kits for specific model kits and the universal FPUC1 chassis, which might be a better option for some builders than measuring and buying all of the components individually for a custom build. We know some builders want to go all out with a completely custom chassis and want to order specific components, while others want a more straightforward build without all of the measuring, custom building, and concerns about compatibility. Therefore, we do our best to offer a variety of different products, STL files, and kits to suit as many builders as possible. Keep this in mind while planning your next project. Whether you decide to print the axle housing pieces yourself, order them from our store, or order them from Shapeways, the assembly process will be the same. We have written assembly instructions on our website along with a video tutorial which you should reference when building your axle assembly. I'll go ahead and quickly show you the build process for the one that I made here. I always like to start by cleaning up the part and sanding away any imperfections. This will help ensure the axle will spin easily and there won't be any issues while assembling it. If you're printing your own axle housing pieces, really make sure you get your settings dialed in and your finished pieces as high quality, dimensionally accurate, and free of print defects as possible. Next I install the bearings into the front side of the axle housing. Ideally they should be a snug fit. After that I install the pinion gear and drive shaft sockets. When using resin gears, you'll want to make sure that they are aligned perfectly before installing the screw, which I did using a pin. Next I glue the ring gear to the axle shaft. You'll want to accurately measure just like we instruct in the manual. Thank you. 
Now I slide on the bearings and wheel mounts, and then glue the wheel mounts into place on the axle shaft, making sure the axle can rotate smoothly. Again, take your time and follow the manual. I promise after you've built about 50 of these, you'll be able to start doing it by smell like I am here. Ensure you've got the axle housing pieces oriented correctly and the gears are well aligned. If the axle does not want to spin easily, try loosening the wheel mount some. Now this is one slight difference between the old kit and this new one. Notice we have two 1x5 screw options. In general, you'll always want to be using the silver machine screws. However, sometimes you might find that you need screws with a little more bite. So the black self-tapping screws are provided. Always start with the silver screws and only use the black ones if needed. Don't forget to apply some grease to the gears before securing the two halves together. The smaller 1x3 screws are for the outer ends of the axle assembly. The axle should rotate smoothly with minimal resistance as shown, and it's now ready to be used in a car. Of course, the links to these products are listed below in the description. If you have any questions, please contact us through the online store page or by email. So that's all for this video, just a quick update about these new kits and a little info about the MA-10. Thank you everyone very much for your patience. We originally wanted to release these back in March, but the global you-know-what has kind of caused some issues with suppliers. We're still in low stock at the time of making this video, but we didn't want to wait any longer to release this new kit and STL files. So if you see these items out of stock, please check back again when hopefully we'll have more available. Our lack of stock has also been exacerbated by record sales, which we are very, very appreciative of, especially as a lot of small businesses and individuals are really struggling during these times. So thank you very much for your support, and we wish you all the best. I'm also very excited to share some of the upcoming build videos I've been working on with all of you, so be sure you're subscribed and stay tuned for those. But that is all for this video, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.